praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's time for fire meditation. Be blessed that you are listening in Jesus' name. Amen. As what it is, my dear, go follow me. My dear, go follow me. My
Your word that we are about to hear, Lord God Almighty, let it transform our lives for the better. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Blessed is your name. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, for those of you watching us for the internet, we greet you. Those of you here present, we welcome you to today's service. As the Lord God Almighty lives, our prayers shall be answered in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. Amen. Uh, we urge you to please subscribe to our channel. We also urge you to please share our ministrations. Share them, like them, and press the notification button so that any time that we up upload a video, you will get notified. Amen. Uh, today is the first Sunday in the month of August 2020. I just look back. How long was it that we just said Happy New Year? And today we are already on the eighth month of the year. In January, we haven't had anything about COVID-19. We started hearing about it little by little. About February, mid-February upwards. But by March, everybody was on lockdown. And ever since then, it has been partial, lockdown or total lockdown in some places. I was reading the news about an organization, an international organization, yesterday or so on the net, that said the organization which was used to be one of in fact the leading oil company, one of the leading oil companies in the world recorded as a result of COVID-19 alone, not fraud that are going on in organizations, not disasters, not community development, uh, sorry, not community arrest, not um, kidnappings, not any other thing, but just one play, COVID-19, that the organization in her second quarter report made a loss of 82% of, of her total earnings. That is 82% profit loss. That is the profit that they used to make. They've already lost within the second quarter of 2020, year 2020, 82% of that. Brethren, the effect of that on humanity is so much. The negative effect of that on the organization is so much. So, nobody will be surprised if very soon an organization like that begins to send home their workers. Because organizations are set up to make profit. If they don't make profit, how would they be funding the business? How would they be uh, paying the salaries of workers? Brethren, the aim of the destroyer is to destroy the entire humanity. You can see, the, you can imagine the amount of losses that only one organization has sustained, and it is repeating itself in other organizations. Airline industry has been shut down, 
But anybody other, you know, if we are 18, thank God is still driving, but not as before. Then if you come to local market, the farmers who planted tomatoes in my area, in my part of the country this year, cried out. They cried. In fact, they, it was a disaster because people that would have come from other states of the Federation to come and buy the tomatoes, when the tomatoes were ready, they couldn't come because of lockdown. That is why I pray and I decree. Quickly and quickly, God will remove this COVID-19 from the planet Earth in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Brethren, the reports are still there. They are still discovering COVID-19 effects in Nigeria. So much, so much that one gets worried. So there is confusion now whether to open the churches or worship centers, the mosques, the bars, the hoteliers are they are in deep trouble because nobody is, is safe, feels safe to use the hotels anymore. And those who are doing so, they are doing so at a great risk. Schools are shut down and so on and so forth. But what um to tell us this morning is that there is hope for humanity. There is hope for humanity. There is hope for humanity. No matter what threats stare us in the face, as the Lord God Almighty lives, humanity shall not go into extinction in the mighty name of Jesus. And we shall get out of COVID-19 and all our losses we shall recover Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, brethren, in spite, Bible tells me in the book of um, Philippians chapter 4 from verse 6 to 7, it says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known unto God and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus Amen Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 to 7, has that to say. In spite of COVID-19, in spite of the downsizing going on in organizations, in spite of the hospitals being filled up now, or now so filled up, I read that in Philippines, the medical team, have already cried out to the government that what they need now is total lockdown because the hospitals could no longer accommodate the number of patients that are coming in. Apart from the exposure of the medical team to, um, to, to the disease, but the facilities that that country has can no longer accommodate, excuse me, the number of patients trooping in to the hospital, this is a calamity upon human race. But in spite of all this, there is hope for humanity. There is hope for humanity. And in spite of all that is happening, we are going to continue to never to be anxious. We are not going to be anxious about COVID-19. We are not going to be anxious about organizations that are dying. Oh, how are we going to survive? How are we going to do this? How are we going to do that? We know, and I know, that God Almighty is in control. He has said, I will no longer destroy humanity. I will no longer destroy the work of my hands. God said, so he repented that. I mean, if you read Genesis 6 from 
3 and from 3, Genesis 6 from verse 3 and so on and so forth, you see all that happened. That the Lord said, No. Even though my spirit will no longer put up with the with man for more than 120 years and so on and so forth, but I will no longer destroy the work of my hands, either by fire or by flood or by whatever. He has that God of covenant will keep his covenant in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Humanity will not go to extinction in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. What we Christians are expecting is the second coming of Christ. And when he will take over the rulership of the world, the kingship of the world, it is not that human beings would have perished completely before he comes. That's not the will of God for us. And we shall not experience it in the mighty name of Jesus. So in spite of all that we are experiencing, in spite of all that we are seeing, there is hope for humanity. So this morning, what we are going to do is we will close, you see, that's what we are saying. The moment a Christian Focuses on praying about enemies, 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 enemies. It means that the spirit of fear has taken over. COVID 19 has been killing and is still killing. We are not afraid. As many as are still alive, we know that we shall praise our Lord. Amen. COVID 19 might be causing problems here and there. But we know, because there is hope for us as humanity, we know that as many of us that are still remaining, we shall continue to praise our Lord. And we are not anxious about whatever. Now, it says, the peace of the Lord that passes all understanding. The peace of the Lord that passes all understanding. Brethren, I don't know about you. Maybe you have been so opportuned to be a politician and you had access to unlimited financial resources or you have amassed wealth in whatever way. But today, it is clear, no matter how clever you are, Excuse me. No matter how clever you are, the effect of COVID-19 is upon everybody. When previously, the poor man will say, oh, I wish I'm able to travel abroad, like all these brethren who are flying up and down, only properties in advanced countries and all that. But today, those of them who have access to travel overseas, live there, work there, make money there. Today now, you are even afraid of welcoming them because you are afraid of um, COVID-19. When you look at all these things, you see that nobody is safe except the Lord keeps us safe. There is hope for humanity. As the Lord God Almighty lives, we shall get out of COVID-19 and the lights in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Bible says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 from verse 16 to 8, it says, Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Instead of you worrying about COVID-19, instead of you worrying about your, father, your joblessness, instead of you worrying about your marital issues, instead of you worrying about childlessness, instead of you troubling yourself about, oh, what diseases are over there? What, what next will be called of humanity? The Bible says, in spite of what is happening now, in the book of 
1 Thessalonians chapter 5, 16 to 18, it says, Rejoice always. Rejoice always. That itself qualifies as a sermon topic. Rejoice always. Why? Because there is hope for you. There is hope for me. There is hope for humanity. Rejoice instead of lamenting, instead of complaining, instead of weeping, instead of gnashing your teeth, instead of, you know, being moody, instead of developing high blood pressure. Rejoice! You will now ask me, how can somebody be rejoicing? When the whole circumstances surrounding him or her is, is un, un, unpleasant. Okay? That is the difference between a child of God and the, someone who does not know God. The deep thing, you see, it is the response we have to circumstances. It is not what is happening. COVID-19 is happening now. Yes, but in spite of all, children of God are rejoicing. Churches are locked down. Mosques are locked down. Every place of worship is locked down. Offices are locked down. Um, businesses are locked down. Every day they are locked down. But a true